So I'm not sure if some of you have been paying attention to what's going on with the Stanley Cup craze. And no, I'm not talking about that Stanley Cup. I'm talking about the Stanley Cup tumblers and coffee mugs. Uh, that is the latest craze, especially over at Target. You're looking at Axios.com and the title of the article is Stanley Cup craze kicks into high gear with Starbucks mugs. So what has happened is the Stanley Cup, that's the brand of this cup right here, has been very popular lately. Stanley used to be a thermos company that used to supply soldiers back in World War II and they've been doing thermoses for a long time, but now they're branching off into these tumblers and they become very popular. The article says the limited edition pink Starbucks and Stanley Quencher went on sale at Starbucks Target locations for $49.95 for the 40 ounce tumbler. It's now sold out at many stores. Days earlier, Target released a new exclusive Stanley product including a red quencher cup for $45. That's the one I became familiar with and these are going crazy on eBay. I'm going to show you the prices momentarily. The craze has prompted long lines outside of Target stores in the dead of night. Ugly fights have broken out. Shouting matches have erupted. The LA Times reports. That's crazy. So this right here, you already know what the cup looks like, right? This <laughs> this one was going for 250 and someone made a best offer and got it. This guy right here, $189. Is it free shipping? No, you still have to pay for shipping, damn it. And it looks like they have a feedback of five, so they're probably a new reseller. Here we go right here. This looks like the Target one. This is the one that I would probably uh, buy if I was in the mood to, to get one of these. The blue one looks cool too. Not exactly sure why that's $89. I don't know, maybe there's a buying spree. So that's crazy. In the past, I've shared with you eBay listings where there are Pyrex items, you know, those glass things that you put noodles in or whatever, those have been going for thousands of dollars. I'm not joking. If this is the first time you've heard of this, go on eBay right after this video and check out some of the listings of Pyrex on eBay. It will blow your mind away. So right now you're looking at amazon.com and we are less than four months away from the next solar eclipse. And I'm mentioning this because for those of you that remember the last solar eclipse, I want to say this was back in 2017, 2018. The last few weeks leading up to the solar eclipse, you could not find any glasses, any anything to view the solar eclipse. Now, I'm not sure if people and wholesalers are a little bit more savvy and they're loading up again, but just in case they don't, and I'm not just talking about these glasses, there are other camera lens tools and other things that you can purchase uh, that will probably go up in value uh, as we get closer to the solar eclipse. So if that's something you're interested in, because we are kind of in the down season now, Q4 2023 is dead and gone. And now we have less than eight months from Q4 2024. So if that's something you're inclined to do and you have a lot of time on your hands, go ahead and feel free to do some due diligence with that. Right now you're looking at Facebook Marketplace. This is here locally in my neck of the woods. Lego collection for sale, $1. I always hate when they do $1, but there's really no other option. You just can't say negotiable or something like this. Uh, but this is what's going on. Brand new, never opened boxes, perfect condition, and there lists a lot of prices. Now, some of the, I, I mean, I don't want to speculate, but to me, it kind of looks like that this person is getting out of the reselling business because a lot of these prices are either competitive or they are below retail. They are definitely below uh, the buy box price on Amazon, especially for the retired sets. There is a Jeep Wrangler in there that's uh, $35. That usually goes for $40 or $50. The idea is Dinosaur Fossils, I believe, is under the buy box for Amazon. There's a Volkswagen Beetle that uh, kind of interested me. So I went ahead and I sent them a message and I said, hey, just to let you know, I'm interested in all of your inventory, but I'm willing to pay 50% RRP on it. And I never heard back from them and that's okay. But I've mentioned this in the past. I do see a lot of people that are having second thoughts and getting out of the Lego reselling business because COVID is over and this is no longer a sustainable hobby for them, or they just don't have the stamina to do it. So this is just one out of 
many things that I see over and over again, where in my opinion, it looks like that uh, these folks are trying to get out of the Lego reselling business. So in this video, we're going over girthy sets, right? And shout out to Sean at a couple of Brickheads in their YouTube channel. I wanted to use the word girthy in the thumbnail, but I texted him and I said, hey, do I have your permission to use the word girthy? And he said, absolutely. Because that was a word that just wasn't used uh, in Lego until Sean came onto the scene. There's a lot of Seanisms came onto the scene when he got into the game. And I think the community is better for it. So if you haven't checked out Sean's YouTube channel, a couple of brickheads, I highly encourage you to do so. So right now we're looking at Lego shop at home and we are at the $100 and over set. The reason why we're not at the $200 and over set is because Lego doesn't give that option. $100 and more is the only option available. And when you scroll down you see some girthy sets some are more girthier than others and it looks like there is 11 pages of girthy lego sets so we're going to talk about sets that are over the 200 dollar mark there's one set that we're going to talk about that is under the 200 dollar mark and that's just because it's it's one of my favorite sets i think this is the one set that is the best set in its theme that has ever been made. And because there have been in the past a proliferation of LEGO resellers out there, I am becoming more and more attracted to girthier sets because that has a higher entry point. Any teenager could have an allowance from their parents and go out to Target and buy a Republic fighter tank, right? But not so much whenever it comes to the $200 sets and more. So that's what we're going to get into. And there's going to be a little bit of a lightning round and then the Excel is going to be interesting. So I highly encourage you, all of you to stick around and check it out at the end. This right here, my friend, I mean, this epitomizes girthy. Lego Titanic set number 10294, $679. And let me tell you, ever since that submarine accident that happened last year, I have still been interested in the Titanic. And I discovered a Facebook group that is specifically about the Titanic. There were 80,000 members in that Facebook group. They threw up pictures that are rare pictures that you've never seen before. Uh, there's so much information. This ship is something that I think will forever be in people's minds and hearts, no matter what year it is, no matter what century it is. And I know people towards the end of the year were running the Lego shop at home to pick up Coliseums. I see them doing more of this whenever it comes to Titanic. I only have one, I need to get more, but I'm very happy that I at least have one of these. So speaking of running out and getting it, I highly encourage you to check out our Patreon. You have a seven day free trial. Last night we had our monthly group chat. It was just amazing. I was so excited during the group chat and I just left the group chat with so much energy. We do one-on-one -on -one consultations. We have over a hundred videos in our video library and we're coming very close to having 600 people since the inception of Patreon join us. So if you want to level up your Lego reselling business, I highly encourage you to check out the link below in the description. All right, so now we're back. This is the Disney Hocus Pocus, the Sanderson Sisters Cottage. Now I liked this set whenever it first came out and I saw it on a computer screen. We actually have this set. I was hoping that my wife would be done with it. I got this set for her for Christmas and she's on the last bag. I was wanting to, to, to hold it, but I absolutely love this set in person. It is absolutely a girthy set. And I think the Lego spooky sets are very, very popular. And if you were to do your own due diligence, you would see how popular they are post-retirement. Chewbacca, now this set right here, I'm not sure if this is a winner or not, and, I'm, and you're going to see this set in the Excel and what my thoughts of it are. If there is a smoking hot GWP May the 4th set, this might be something that you would be interested in purchasing if it were to retire. I know a lot of people have warmed up to this set since it first came out, myself included. I highly doubt I will ever purchase this for resale, but I will probably just purchase one as a collector. The brand new Orient Express, $300. There are trains that are very respectable. The Crocodile Locomotive, for those of you that remember that. I wanna say last time I checked Amazon on that, the price was $180. I think it went for $99.99. Don't quote me on that. Now this set is pretty steep. Absolutely, don't get me wrong. But the thing you have to ask yourself on this set is, 
the entry price is $300. How many people out there do you really believe will purchase more than 10 of these whenever it comes to reselling on the secondary market? Now, of course, I wouldn't purchase this at full price, but you need to find a good deal in order to add this to your inventory. We have the piano, a Lego Ideas, very respectable set. Talk about a set that won't die. I mean, this has been out for a couple years already, right? This is, is this rivaling the Saturn V rocket? I think it might. Very good set. I, I know that there's one person out there who he's a reseller. I think he has at least 300 of these, which is just crazy, but he got them at a good price. And this is, and in my opinion, this is a potentially good winning set, only if you get a good price on it. This right here is the set that I was talking about earlier. This is less than $200 set, and I absolutely love this. I mean, it's pretty much an architecture Hogwarts castle. This set, in my opinion, is the best Harry Potter set that they have ever put out. I do see this set going off to the races once it retires, but then again, only time will tell. But the cool thing about this set is this is not not a Lego exclusive, right? So you could pick this up anywhere and you could piggyback off of those major retailers discount promotions that they will occasionally have. The Treehouse, talk about a Scud missile, right? This is absolute garbage. Whenever I say to myself, I can't believe I purchased 350 ATST Raiders, the next thought is, thank goodness I only have one Treehouse. I know so many people that have this set. This set I do not think will do well post-retirement. The Typewriter, I have a couple of these because I I purchased them at the right price. I like these sets for the price that I purchased it at, but I would absolutely never purchase this set at full price Jones. Mose Isley's Cantina. I don't want to say that I'm on the fence when it comes to this set, but if they had the same deal on this set, this upcoming Q4, just as they did on the Republic gunship, I would absolutely scoop up as many of these as I could. The only other scenario I could see myself purchasing this set is if there was a smoking hot GWP come May the 4th. This big boy right here is clocking in at $269. It is the mighty Bowser. I love this price at 30% off. If Meyer was to go ahead and have another promotion like that or any other major online retail, I would be snatching these up in a heartbeat, but I'm just waiting for that. I will not purchase this at full price. And that's obvious, right? And finally, the Lego Ideas Home Alone House. If you see right here, it's on back order, right? This is a sleeper. Everybody knows this set is out there, but they're worried about the other sets. I guarantee you, if this set was on the chopping block to retire with two months left, everybody would be going to grab this set. You have the opportunity, if you know what you're doing, to purchase this set for at least 20% off and it's on back order, which means it was very popular. When you go to the Excel, you can see right here, the two Scud missiles are in red, the Lego Ideas Treehouse and the Chewbacca. The ones that are in yellow, I think they're potential winners, but you absolutely have to get the best deal possible. And I'm not saying 40% off. If the best deal out there is 30% off, then you may want to consider snatching that. The green celled sets are the ones that I think are slam dunk winners. Now, all of these for the most most part with the exception of the Hogwarts castle you may have to work to get discounts on but those are discounts that are available and if you do your own due diligence at the beginning of a year whether it's this year or next year and you see that they're retiring in 12 months you have 12 months to grab as many of these as you can at a very reasonable discount and there's no reason why you shouldn't if that's something that you're interested in so that's it on the girthy sets. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, I'm Jim with WolfOfBricks.com. Always go out there and get it.